Here we have distal, proximal. So this is the middle phalanx. This is the proximal phalanx. Here is a torn radial collateral ligament of the proximal interphalangeal joint. So here's our collateral ligament. It's torn. It's retracted back, retracted proximally, taking a little bony avulsion fracture off with it as well. So this little bony fragment should be inserted in down onto the proximal phalanx. We can see as we stress the joint, we open the joint up, we see a nice gapping of the joint. What's interesting about this is if we have a look at this clip in short axis, <clears throat> this is a short axis view with dorsal palmer here, a bit, bit kind of a transverse plane looking in through here. We can appreciate that here's our extensor slip in through here, here's our radial sagittal band of our extensor apparatus. And what's happened is our radial collateral ligament has torn, it's retracted, and it's flipped itself up more proximally than what it should. It should be sitting down in through here. So it's torn back and torn up. So this is in short axis. We'll now turn longitudinal through here. Here's our extensor tendon, our radial slip in through here. And here's our retracted bit of collateral ligament sitting up proximal and up high. And through here, we'll flex and extend the digit and we'll stress the joint, see so opening up the joint, the extensor apparatus moving. And our nice stenolesion of our radial collateral ligament of the proximal phalangeal joint.